I noticed this a long time ago. You can see Kenny Baker's legs underneath R2-D2. They move a little bit as he turns the dome. So this is for educational and critical purposes only, as they say. This is the scene right before he gets zapped by the Jawas. So he pauses and looks around to be cautious. The remote controlled R2 had three legs, but the dome wasn't remote controlled. So that's why he's turning the dome from the inside. Kenny Baker is normally inside and would have two legs. You can see Kenny Baker's legs in this one. The old school way of doing things, so I'm glad they didn't erase it. This is the remote controlled R2 with three legs. You can see the inside of the dome. Uncle George with an early prototype. Coffee and donut break, or tea time in the UK. Credit lines for all these photos are up the right side. You can see a little bit into R2's body. Happy he was able to bring R2-D2 to life. Our favorite little astromech droid can even deliver the mail. May the force be with you. Please subscribe for more.